guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to tutorial so as you guys know yesterday I totally missed my tutorial Tuesday video so today is Wednesday I'm filming it right now um, I think if I have the energy for it I will edit and I will try to upload it so it is gonna be up late or I might just um, put it onto YouTube and then just um, make it public early in the morning so that you guys can see it right away but um, let's go ahead and get started. Today we are going to be making these little um, paper wallets and I love these. I think they're so cute and I intended to make these for cash and receipts. Um, I think these are perfect to just throw into your purse. I think these are great for your planner. You can, you know how some of the A5 planners have the pockets on the side? You can just kind of tuck it in the bigger pocket. If you want to add holes, you can punch your holes before you laminate and then laminate because it's otherwise it's going to be really hard to get the punch through with the laminating on top of the layers of the paper. So I would definitely recommend do that first. But I love this wallet. I think it's so cute and I told you guys I was going to show you guys how to make it. So that's the first one. This is the one that I made for the video that I actually deleted and I think it's so pretty. I love it so much and I used a floral paper from a Paris theme that I had and then this bow is from the Planner Society. I thought it went perfect with the tone of reds and then the blush pink. I decided to use the blush pink pom-poms. So when you open it, this is what it looks like. But for this one, I tried to put the magnet inside because I didn't want to have two magnets, like one here, one here. I think it just looks a little odd, but the magnet wasn't strong enough to hold. So it because this is sticky, I ended up sticking it on there and then I couldn't take it off without tearing the paper. So I just left it in there. So there's an extra magnet in there, but I love the polka dots and I love the little peak of the flowers popping out. And then this size pocket, you can make this size whatever you want. You can make it smaller, you can make it taller, um, or you can make it just this size, which is perfect for the little peaking. But I put magnets because I think the magnet will secure it um, a lot more than velcro i think velcro sometimes is not good um it could easily rip off and by this this is like super glued on so i don't think it would ever peel off and then as you can see it holds perfect so your money and your receipts wouldn't fall out and that's what it looks like from the back and this one is laminated but what I had to do with this one, because my laminator couldn't resist the thickness of it, I had to, um, it wasn't sealing from the sides, so you see this little border right here? I had to cut that all off, and I left, it still stayed laminated, but right here, this doesn't have um, laminating, because I cut all of that off and I just gave it like a finished look and I think it looks great. I think it worked out really good for this one. Um, the paper that I'm gonna use today though, however, is a lot thicker, so I'm not gonna laminate it, but I'll show you guys how to put it on your laminator paper if you decide that you wanna laminate. This is one that I made for Alma. She um, ordered one of these. She told me that she wanted me to make one for her and I showed her I, the picture of the paper that I was gonna use and the bow to make sure she approved of it and she loved it. I love it so much. This is from one of the Planner Society kits and it's so cute. It's like blue and pink. I have the pink bow. This bow is from a die cut that I had um, from some other kit. And then this little pom-pom trim is from that Target Dollar Spot, the one that I showed you guys in my haul. But I love it and this one I was able to completely laminate very good because the paper is so thin and it wasn't too thick. But I love the inside, I love how it looks, I love the black and white along with the blue and then if you open it you'll see that it looks really pretty from the inside as well and same thing over here. And for this one the magnets looked perfect because of the black background. I think it looks really nice. It doesn't look weird or odd or anything, but I love this. So this is the one I made for Alma. She already saw it, so I'm not worried about her like 
peeking through it, but Alma, she loves it and I'm excited for that. I can't wait to send it to her. But okay, let's start with the one that we're gonna make. So today I'm gonna be using this sheet right here. And let me just put these to the side right there. Today we're gonna be using this one. This is by the Flora Collection. I just had it laying down. Um, I just had it laying in my, um, with some of my craft stuff and I thought this would be really cute to use. And then this bow is from the Planner Society and I thought I think this looks really nice and it'll go really cute with it. I'm not gonna laminate this one because of its thickness. So the first thing we're gonna do is we gotta take out this white border because we don't need it. And because I need to make sure that I measure correctly. So let's take that out. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is measure your paper and remember you all, you need to have a double-sided paper um, just because it's a lot easier to have double-sided paper and it looks prettier too. So you're gonna go to six and a half inches, that's gonna be your width and then you're gonna do the same thing up top. And then on the sides, you're gonna go, your pocket size is gonna be three and a half. And then you're gonna go up three and a half again. So this is half, one, two, three. And then for your cover, or for your, um, yeah, for your cover flap, I'm just gonna go up one, two and a half inches. And then the rest is extra paper. So let's go ahead and cut what I have. I'm like, I don't know why I feel like I did this tutorial because I did, I just didn't get a chance to upload it. All right, so now I have to do the same thing on this side. So we're gonna make sure that everything is even to go up to three and a half. And then we're gonna go up half, one, two, three, up to the seven inch mark. And then we're gonna go up one, two and a half inches. Okay, so that's what you do. So then the next thing we have to do is a score. So I'm gonna grab my scoreboard. And I have to score the lines that I just made. So score one. Score two, and this is the cover, right? One, oh, I missed this one right here. So now that all of my lines are scored, I'm gonna go ahead and fold this one, and then we're gonna go ahead and score the crease, and then we're gonna go ahead and fold this one. So I think I'm gonna have to leave a little extra space. I always forget about that. Just to give it room to, um, to fold. So I just went up one line. And there we go. And that way it gives my pocket the room to move or so that it's not so tight. Right? 
Okay, so now that we have that, now we have to cut the top off because I don't need it that long. And that's our cover, okay? That's what it looks like. So then the next thing we have to do is decide how we want our pocket. And because this is already the same size, I'm going to use the same one. The only thing is I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to score because that way I don't have to worry about cutting another sheet of paper. So I'm going to make this. Where's my pencil? I have to put it this way so that I can see better. So I'm just gonna fold a little bit. Just a little tiny piece, like that much. And I'm gonna do the same over here. And then I'm gonna score that so that I can fold it. And this is our pocket, right? So now you have the bottom seal so that nothing falls out. So now we have to do the edges. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use the same paper and I'm just gonna go like that. Just gonna take about this much for now. And then I need to see how tall I need it. You guys have seen me do this method before. This is how I do all of my pockets. All right, and then we're gonna fold. losing everything. Right? And just so that everything is nice and even. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be even. It's very easy. It really is an easy tutorial and anybody's able to do this. As soon as you get the hang of it, you'll be making plenty of them. So let's go ahead and add our adhesive using my ATG glider. And so far it's been working great. So I just realized that I'm gonna just have to keep holding it, remembering to hold the glue. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and add our first seal right here, just like that. And then the same thing over here. And the same thing over here. Alright, and then close. And close and then we have to add adhesive to this flap right here and then I like to seal those two together so I'm just gonna add a little bit more and then make sure that all of our glue is tucked in so that nothing gets Duck, especially if you're laminating you definitely want to don't want to miss this step so then let's go ahead and put this on here perfect 
perfect. And then just with your score tool, just press down so that everything stays on. And look at how cute that is. I oh, love it. All right, so then we have to just do the same thing over here to this pocket. Let's see. We'll just take a nice big chunk out. And then let's fold. Freeze, fold. And you can see it's all coming together really nice. And it really is fun. It's fun to create something that's your own. Um, because you know you're customizing it to your liking and if you don't want to use it for cash you don't have to use it for cash um, it's also um, a nice way to make a cute little envelope to send a letter to your pen pal um, I made one for a birthday and I sent it already and I sent it as a gift and that way she can keep it in her purse and put whatever she wants in it And for this one, I forgot, I'm just gonna cut at a little angle because um, that's just the way I like to do this pocket. Right. And then we'll do the same thing over here. in your glue and add your flap and we are just about done we are just about done so you can see this does not take long at all all right and then the next thing you have to do is make sure you align it perfect Sometimes that part comes out wrong. And just press down. All right, and there you have your double pocket wallet. And this fits a, do a dollar perfectly laying. And then look at how cute it looks from the inside. And then that's the outside. Isn't that adorable? That looks so, so cute. All right, and then the only thing you have to finish it up with is add your little decorations all right so let's go ahead and add our magnet this is the magnet that I'm using and I purchased these at Michaels it's an 18 pack and you just peel and stick so make sure you look for those because it's just a lot easier and you just kind of fold it back and forth back and forth and do the same thing over here just like that all right so then you're going to peel it and then you're gonna put the first one you're gonna put the first one up here you always want to do the first one that way you know where to lay um, the other one and I'll show you a little trick so that everything is even just pop this on there just like that, fold, and press. And there you have it. Look at how cute that is. Oh, that one went, went down crooked. Oh my gosh, oh well. 
it's okay. Look at how cute that is. <laughs> So cute, so cute. And because I'm not gonna laminate this one, I will show you though. If you're gonna laminate it, and I recommend that you um, do this, the laminating with a thin paper. This paper is really thick. So what you would have to do is take your laminator paper and, well, don't put the magnets on. <laughs> Leave the magnets out, do those last once everything is laminated. And you're gonna lay it flat and put it through your laminator with this side going in first. So it has to be the other way. This is the seal. This is your cover. This is the flap. Put this through the laminator first and then the rest will run through. It'll seal it better, but this one is too thick so it wouldn't do it. And then once you're done, cut up everything, leave a little space, and then put your magnets on over the laminator. And then for this one, I think instead of adding trim, I'm just gonna put the bow down here instead of up here. That way it makes it look like a really cute little cover. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I took the glue off the bottom and then I'm just gonna stick this on here just like that. Actually, let's put it down a little bit more. Just like that. And there you have your finished wallet. It looks really cute. You can toss it in your bag on the go and it's easy access to pull out your money. It's nice and sealed with the magnet. And that's pretty much it guys. That is how you do a little cash wallet. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to respond to all my comments and read all my comments. So you guys know what to do. Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Ali underscore plan with me. I love you guys and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.